You know, one of the biggest jobs for zookeepers at the North Carolina Zoo is feeding all the animals. For some species, they just put the food out. But for others, they want the animals to forage or even hunt for their own food. Fox 8's Shannon Smith explains why that's so important in today's Zoo Files. You can see her smelling right now. Mm -hmm. Like that's her trying to locate where the food is. 16-year-old Inca the Ocelot searching for her breakfast. On the menu this morning, frozen fish and mice. Us as zookeepers always try and do is to avoid the classic like, here's the food in the bowl, here you go. Because life doesn't serve up food on a silver platter in the wild. <laughs> Instead, zookeepers want to create a wild-like habitat for the animals. Ocelots live all over North and South America, from the deserts of Texas to the rainforest of Argentina. Ocelots, they're so diverse. They love to climb, they love to dig, they love to swim. So here, keepers float the fish in the pond and put the food up on rocks, trees, and inside toys. We also have a bunch of climbing structures that move as she tries to climb because a lot of the food items uh, in the wild she'd be going after are birds and small mammals that are high up in the trees or in the brush. Keepers say searching for food replicates yep. the ocelot's <laughs> hunting behavior, so it stimulates the animals both mentally and physically. They basically have great vision, great hearing, and great smell, which makes them uh, so perfect to basically hunt anything that moves. After her morning searching session, this is going to be the most active she's going to be for most of the day. Inca won't move much for the rest of the day. Like most other wild cats, ocelots spend the majority of their time sleeping. She's really working that piece. Yeah. And today, she's earned her nap. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. Now, two ocelots live in the desert area of the North America section of the zoo. Keepers often post feeding times for animals at the entrance of the zoo, and that gives guests an opportunity to see those animals while they're most active.